Are you ready for the hardest hitting hour in all of sports radio? I'm Henderson. He's Urena. It's time for the counterpunch. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? It's Canelo Alvarez on the zone. Everybody knows he's stepping up the light heavyweight to take on the crusher, Sergey Kovalev, this weekend in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's also the big debut of the WWE knockout artist now. As Tyson Fury wins in the only way he don't, and that's by knockout. Earlier today at the WWE Crown Jewel of Ron Strowman. Also, we got Miguel Burchell takes on Jason Sosa for featherweight champion, super featherweight title. Katie Taylor returns to the ring. She takes on Christina Leonardo Tudor. How do you say her name? I'm not sure. Um, Anthony Crowley will be in action on that card. Joshua Buachi. Also, in the co-feature of Canelo Alvarez and Sergey Kovalev will be Ryan Garcia as he takes on Romero Dona. As I wait here for my co-host, Wilson Urena, he should hop on here any second. Welcome. You know the number. That's 516-531-9594. We're live across the world with the Counter Punch. First thing we're going to get into this week is uh, I'm going to actually break down this Alvarez-Kovalev fight, and I'm going to predict who I think will win as I've not really let much out there this week on my opinion of this fight. Uh, right now, like I said, live from Brooklyn, New York, here's my co-host, Wilson Urena. What's up, my man? Man, my bad. I'm a little late, man. Uh, uh, we straight. Ch- Chavez Jr., uh, Jacobs might be in jeopardy. It's going to Phoenix, Arizona is what I was told. No, it might be Before, in jeopardy. Yeah, I know. He, he's dodging Bada. And out in California, he's been dodging by them. But from what I understand, they're going to try to move it to Phoenix. It, it, according well, to Matron. Well, I don't know what I sent they a message said, out when that, whenever, whenever, the get, bot, whenever that come out on Twitter about an hour ago. I sent a message out, and I got Phoenix, Arizona was the response. That's yeah, what they're going to try to my do. Guess, my guess is he's um, probably scared that he's going to pop 30 for weed or something like that. I would say so. I don't know. He looks. He looks to be. Uh, I haven't right. been on him he look, much. He looks. He looks in, in decent shape too. So <laughs> he looks in phenomenal shape. The best shape so it I've could seen be him. something else. Yeah, it's the best shape I I've seen. This fight. Yeah. I the best shape I've fight. seen I, him I, in in quite some time. I would want him uh, to test it. It's just uh, fishy. Hey, you know it's. Uh, I don't know if uh, it. If Danny can get the money fight that this fight is anywhere else, so that could, that could be the issue. Well, that, I, that is the issue. Uh, I, I haven't talked to him, so I can't tell you either way. Yeah, you're our, you're our touch, you're our base there, uh, as far as Jacobs goes. But it's, it's a big money fight. It's a fight that I don't think he thinks he loses, no matter what Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. is on. Um, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> so I just don't believe in Junior man. I, I, I you know I never have. So, Never have. Uh, no. Um, his last hurrah come with the knockdown against Sergio Martinez quite some time ago um, as he tried to make one last stand. Uh, we don't yeah, have too many questions a long tonight because uh, I've been sick all week. I actually got a slight fever now. So, But the show must go on. This is Canelo Alvarez week. I know. One of the questions we Chris, man. He, he's under the impression that he could just take days off. <laughs> hey, the show's live, though, right? Hey. <laughs> live. <laughs> What's going 516, on? 516 531 You can get a hold of us. Uh, like I said, I started off Tyson Fury wins today in the <laughs> WWE Crown Jewel. And the only way that he don't win, and that's by knockout. Uh, anybody well, that one follows, push knockout at that, man. Ooh. Yeah, one push knockout at that. Uh, anybody that follows the sport of boxing can tell you real quick, Tyson Fury is as far from a knockout artist as we may have in the sport of boxing. I don't care what division he has, he does fight in. Right. Great boxer. Arguably, well, I want to say probably the second most skilled fighter in the division he now behind you. He, does, he but, doesn't sit on his punches because he relies so much on his movement. So. Yes, absolutely. You know, whether it's lateral movement, the legs or upper crucial. body, you know what I mean? 
Amen. Amen. Um, I'm going to do a breakdown on Alvarez and Kovalev. I haven't really thought much about it, but these are two guys I know from top to bottom, from their big pinky toe to their longest finger on their hands. You know what I mean? I know these guys. Uh, I did multiple breakdowns on them, so I will break down this fight a little bit. Yeah, no, so no, don't have a, no, offense to, to, no offense to uh, anybody out there, but, uh, man, he looks like a midget next to him. <laughs> uh, I think uh, my uh, prediction could could maybe throw a few people off. Uh, I don't know how much uh, – from talking to Buddy McGirt earlier in this week, I talked to him on Monday. We're going to see a whole okay. different Sergey Kovalev this weekend. Uh, uh, oh, yeah? What Buddy tells me, if that game plan, if Kovalev can stick to that game plan, that's the game plan to beat Canelo Alvarez. Let, let me ask you a question. Yeah. How old is Sergey Kovalev? He's 36 years old, and he's been hard on his body. Okay. It's a hard 36. It's a, it's a, okay. It's a uh, okay. relatively equivalent to most 45-year-old men. That was going to be my next question. So, so can I ask you, the next question will be, when have you ever seen a different fighter making a fighter make an adjustment? It's uh, not a really so a, in, They don't make adjustments this late in their career. Not not what is exactly. he? He's thirty five fights into his career or something like that. I think he's thirty four and three or something. And he's got that draw, yeah. you know. So that that I felt like he, he got gifted. But uh Yeah. So, hey, you know, he's, it, it really isn't an adjustment. It's 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 some of the same stuff that you saw Sergey Kovalev do against John Pascal, against uh, Isaac Chalimba. It's 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 some of the same things you've seen from Kovalev in the past. Some of the same things he did the great Bernard Hopkins with. I'm not a point but now, yet, but see that that's that, that's then. You know, I'm at a point in 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 my opinion right now when I look at Sergey Kovalev, I see the end more than I see the beginning. When Amen. it comes to career, you know what I mean. I just, I just feel like he's on his last stand, last leg, and that's no disrespect to him. I just feel like it is the game in a way has passed him by. Um, I don't think he even gets this fight if he had a, like a fighter that was more, uh, had more, you know, he, he could actually go the round instead of just gassing out and pretty much being knocked out because he got he gassed out. So yeah, you're talking about the Yarde fight. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so I agree. I mean, he's a shell of what he used to be at this point. Uh, mm-hmm. Does Canelo have to still be careful? Hell yeah. But in my opinion, he only has to do that for about four to five rounds, and then the man will will tire out. And once once he's tired, then everything else is just going to come easier as the fight goes on. I believe the. Uh... Now, Canelo does. I don't like Sergey Kovalev, so I don't like Kovalev either. Anybody that knows so I can't, me knows I can't that. pick him. So my prediction is Canelo's gonna come out. He's gonna play safe early on. He's gonna hit uh, touch Kovalev to the body. As long as he doesn't get caught, I don't see him getting into any kind of trouble. I don't think he's gonna he's gonna be able to get, get caught. I mean, Kovalev does still have a jab, but. It's not the same jab that it once was either. So I think uh, Canelo just needs to use his movement, play it safe, uh, attack the bat body, you know, from round to round. And by the fourth, fifth round, you could see a boxing lesson because by, by that time, those punches, he's going to see them coming. It, I, the big. end of the fight is going to be from a mile away. By the sixth or seventh round, it's going to be. About, about 20 from here to freaking Manhattan, man. <laughs> uh, there is little doubt, none whatsoever, that the better, better boxer in the ring is the red-headed Mexican guy. There is no doubt about that. It's not even up for debate. He is, on my official pound-for-pound pound list, he is number one in the world. But okay? You can't sleep on that side in power, though. You cannot sleep on that right hand. Ask Andre Ward. You know what I mean? And do I think Canelo Alvarez is close to the man Andre Ward is? No, I don't. Okay? So that right hand is serious. That right hand now, is a now, problem. It now here's disguised the question. right. 
It's got to be disguised right. It has to come not off the one like you would think. It's got to come straight. It's got to come lead the, overhand right out of the blue. You see what I'm saying? Here's the, yeah, here's the question, though. Is that same right hand still there? The power? Yeah, that pop's still there. No, I that mean, it's still, the really power's still the last there. Thing like ever the goes same, the I know that, but it's, it's still the same. It's still the same devastated power, devastating power because he hit Yardy with some shots. They, and knocked him down nope. with a jab. Yeah. But yeah, that but that was like more of a yeah. I, I and we can't I'm forget, done. guys, that Canelo Alvarez ain't always had the best gas tank in the world either. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he has a better so, gas tank than Yardy, and he's got a better gas together. tank than than the man he's in there against this week. And I think what you're going to see early on, I think the keys to success for Canelo Alvarez is lateral movement with slipping mm-hmm. the one. He's got to slip the one to get inside. He's got to land some body shots early, even if he loses the first round, the second round, the third round, because he's let he's, he's letting him dictate the pace with his jab. Even if he loses those rounds, he's at least got to commit enough to get a couple of threes off to the body. You know what I mean? And, and, yeah. and make them serious. Uh, because we yeah. know what the body work does to Sergey Kovalev. It's a proven fact. Andre Ward said it in the lead-up to the second fight, and he was not lying. You know what I mean? He can take him out to the body, and we've seen. I predict, I, I predict by the third round he'll be looking at the referee about four or five times, saying, "Hey, uh, he hit me low." That's one thing Canelo yeah. Alvarez isn't known for either. He's not no, known I for mean, being a dirty fighter at all. No, no, He's no. Known. I mean, just Kovalev. Kovalev. If you look at his fights, even past Andre War, every time he gets hit to the body, he he always cleans his. Yeah, he automatically looks to the ref. When he doesn't like it down there, at one point or another, he sets his low. Yeah. Amen. And uh, then they shout out the to replay. The, shout out to our sponsors. That's the gruelingtruth.com, anchor.fm, Cameron Sports Management, Everlast. Go to everlast.com. Our hashtag, I believe, is TCP1, but I, uh, don't quote me on that yet. And uh, you can get a discount. So. Uh, it, it, the official sponsorship starts next next month, or well, actually tomorrow. So I better get that uh, hashtag pretty quick for the discount. <laughs> but yeah, the, the uh, process also, are growing, folks. The yes, the process are growing. Um, <laughs> also, this weekend we got Miguel Bruchel takes on Jason Sosa. That's on ESPN. I think Bruchel does okay. a walk through over the Sosa pretty much. I think there's a mm-hmm. major class difference there. Uh, Katie Taylor returns to action over in the U.K. That card will be on the zone earlier in the day as your lead-up to Canelo Kovalev. Uh, I think she should be fighting for soon myself. But, hey, Anthony Crowley and Joshua Boach is also on that card as well. Um, and while we're you talking about Wilson, uh, Wilson's favorite boxer, Ryan Garcia, will be the co-feature against Alvarez and Kovalev. Is he, uh, uh, I didn't even get a response yeah. out of that one, sir. No, not he at ta- all. <laughs> uh, he takes on Romero Duna in the co-feature. That's a very weak co-feature, in my opinion, for a fight this big. It's, uh, um, well, hell, it's a $100 subscription, so... <sighs> These are going to be some of the things that you're going to have to deal with over there. That's true. Amen. Especially I, when that's that's, that's a great card. way to look at that. I, I, I never even uh, thought about that. You're thinking that this is just a big card. You know, it's the biggest, what, two or three fights of the year for sure, this fight is. Uh, so you're thinking it's just I a big mean, card. You're automatically assuming you're going to have a great undercard. Depends, that's just, right. It depends on who you talk to as far as, like, the magnitude of the fight itself. For me, ready person, I think we, I, I, for me personally, I think a guy that like the size of Canelo Alvarez, uh, height wise and all of that, I think it's crazy going all the way up to 175. So for me, it's an intriguing uh, there. This because this could backfire. It could backfire big time. You know and what if Buddy saying? McGirt has his way, according to what he told me, and when I get into how what I think these guys should do here. Um, We'll talk about it. We got a caller on the line. Let's see who it is. You live with a counterpunch, man. Who's this? Yo, this is Remo, man. What's going on? What's up, my man? How you doing? <laughs> you got too much, man. I wanted to talk to boxing, so I decided to give you a call, man. 
give me one second. I'm going to walk out the casino door, man. I know it's a little loud right there. All right, go ahead. All right, what were y'all talking about so far? We're talking about Alvarez Kovalev. That's really all there is. I've got a couple of questions I'll answer from the fans I guess and listeners here a little bit. On board. Huh? You know something? I want, I want to let you know something, man. It's the casinos here. It's two casinos. It's not even taking no bets on a fight. Really? Oh, wow. Ocean's, huh. Ocean's at Tropicana. Basically, he's William Hill. Wow. That's interesting. Ain't that something, man? No, that's, that's, that's interesting. They're not taking no bets at all, or they're not taking, let you pick a winner. You know something? I'm a, I know for sure in the next half hour when I get there, but the word on the streets was they wasn't taking no bets. And you're in Atlantic City? And it is. Yeah, I'm in Atlantic City. And they didn't, they didn't have it up on a big board like they usually do. But they got yeah, the, and, um, you know how they had them little, the little odds papers and stuff? They yeah. have no pro boxer, but they got the UFC out. Hmm. Well, if they, uh, well, the thing about it, if they are taking action, they just got promoted. They're, uh, that's, this is the big, one of the biggest fights of the year, man. I, I, it's hard to imagine I, not taking no bet on the fight. I know, man. I know. I know. I know, but the last I looked, it was uh, Canelo minus 450. That sounds about right. That, last time I checked, that's about what it was, 440, I think. That's close enough. Yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. Do, you got? Plus how do you think the fight will go? How do you think the I'm going to break go? it down here. The last 15, 20 minutes of the show, I'll get into a breakdown on it. That's uh, what a lot of people... I did one in quite some time. A lot of people actually asked me for them. Uh, I'll break the fight down, uh, but I don't. Who you got? Uh, who, 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 that you, Wilson? Yeah, yeah. Who he? Who does he have? Who you picking? Who in that you fight? like? Man, I like Canelo, man. Because mm-hmm. I go with it's the hard to bet against footwork you, and overall skill. Yeah. He just yeah. like man, a lot of people. A lot of people don't like Canelo because he's not black or he's from America or whatever. But Canelo got the skills, man. He got the footwork. He's a the little, the little son bitch can fight his ass off, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. He, and the he's thing is, 20. man. One thing I learned from <laughs> the two Canelo and Golovkin fights is I, I gained mad respect for both guys. I gained mad respect for both guys. Both of them can fight their ass right. off. And I right, that, and right Canelo there. Chen is uh, Canelo Chen underrated, man. Yeah, it his, is. His Chen is totally underrated. Yes, it is. I think he just has uh, to play safe early on, get, get Kovalev into the second half of the fight, and then from there the boxing skills usually take over once your opponent is high. As uh, as I said, I yeah. talked to I agree with I, them. <laughs> I talked to Buddy McGirt uh, earlier in the week. And he has a game plan that I think is probably about the only chance they have. And that's work off the one. And he's going to have to put the one in his chest, not just in his face, but he needs to put it in Canelo's chest. The chest never moves, guys. That head moves great. But if I keep hitting you in the, in the solar plexus, it's not going nowhere. You know what I mean? And I'm going to keep that little guy distant. You see what I'm saying? When I got that bigger reach advantage, that's the key. To yeah. Controlling the pace right. of this yeah. fight. Yeah. Yeah. That's the key to yeah. controlling the pace of this fight. And if he can just keep him out there, yeah. pop, 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 move, pop, pop, he will keep Canelo backing up because Canelo is not as strong as Sergey Kovalev. You know what I mean? The nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah. Whoever controls the distance, whoever fights at the distance that they want will win that fight. But Canelo's key is to take it a couple of them. You know what I mean? If you have to, take them, twist, and pop. Land that three to the body. Land that four. You know, one of them to the body. Yeah. Get in there and yeah. Even if you lose yeah. in the first two, three, four rounds, commit to the you body. Is it? He'll 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 roll with some punches too. He, he's got the skills to do that. So his ability to roll with punches is the best in the sport, bar none. So so yeah, so man. He, he's gonna he's gonna do that. Um, like I said, it's intriguing because if he gets caught early, even though I think he has one hell of a chin, uh, you know, it, it, I like to see how he takes a shot. One seventy five, still one seventy five. I don't care how you chin it. Everything I've right. heard, man. He's even stronger at 175 than he was at 160 or 168. He probably, he probably could be because you know why he doesn't have to assert himself as much to lose the weight. Cause he literally cut like 11 boy, pounds man. for this fight. Yeah, and that was a chunky boy. So he he balloons up to like 181, 182, 83, 84. 
So, um, you know, that, that, that could help him, actually. I was definitely looking forward to this fight more than I was the uh, the Galapagos too. Because I kind of I kind of figured hear that was going to be the second fight. fight. <laughs> you can hear that wind on the board, that's man. for sure. It's windy. Yeah, out I, I, had, I had to I had to step off that boardwalk, man. It was too windy out there. Yeah, man. It's a it's a it's a uh, it's a rainy, windy day out here. I guess it was about a oh, year right. ago now, a little over a year ago, I was up there myself calling the cards for up here in Atlanta I was, City. Oh, I remember, yeah. man. I, re- I remember. Right now, yeah. right now it's about 70 degrees clear. It's just, it's just windy. What did you That's say? 70, it's 70 degrees. degrees. Oh, 70. 70 degrees. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Clear, no rain. Everything cool. Now, seven usually comes to me in, like, February or January, and we'll get a week. Where you don't even want to come outside, trust me. Yo, I'm well aware of it. Well aware of it. Um, I know it's coming. I know it's coming. All right. Yeah. Uh, I know. I'm going to get into a question I got asked from uh, Jason Rodriguez over on Twitter. He asked, uh, do you think this this fight has got the promotion it deserves? Uh, No, I do not. Has this fight been promoted as well as it should be, you think? No, he does so. Oh, does so, bro. I've been thinking about that. The whole thing about promoting and everything. I think all these promoters, right, is using social media to promote their fight, and they gotta go with that. I think I think Fox Sports does the best. Fox is doing a hell of a job promoting their fights. At least here, I will. Yeah. yeah. You know, Fox, Fox is doing Sports, everything uh, they can. Uh, have they, we they seen much? Uh, fight Fight Week, man. You can't turn to anything. Radio. I know. <laughs> yeah. Internet without Fox. seeing a commercial. Fox do do it. Fox do do the damn thing when they when, when uh, they come yeah, over they because that Deontay Wilder fight. And it used to work. I was in it. I was in the casino, man, and the commercials kept coming on for the Deontay Wilder fight. And they people got a caller out of Atlanta, Georgia. No... Hold on just a second. Let me get this other caller. Okay. <laughs> You're live on the counter punch, man. What's up? Hello. I see that Atlanta. Number. Hello. 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 Hey. This is Vic, man. Wow, what's up? That's Vic my homie, guys. Man. What's going on? Oh, man. <laughs> what's up? That's wait, wait, wait. Let me I just... seen that Atlanta hey, color, hey. that Atlanta area hey, code. Man. I knew. Let, let, let me introduce the, the myth, the legend, Vic Carrington, <laughs> the, 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 the University of Florida fan. <laughs> Hey, 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 wait, 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 so big. I got Georgia mm-hmm. taking care of business Saturday. Absolutely. Absolutely. It should be a whooping. Uh, man, okay. man they're going to run a score for those boys, dog, because Florida, that's my top ten, top ten thing, team that I think is truly cool. You wait. know what? I have to be honest. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is a damn boxing show. Let's get back to boxing, damn it. Yeah, let's get to boxing. Got gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I just told you, damn, man. I, I was I about to say something, and I seen my... Co-host speaking up there, great job. Much better uh, to call Georgia football. So I paid for it for a long time. What's going on, brother? Yeah, I had to circle around. Who you got in this fight, my brother? Who you got in this fight, man? I I didn't hear I didn't who you who you who y'all were discussing. Canelo. Canelo uh, Kovalev Alvarez is what we're discussing right now, of course. I'm Kovalev first Alvarez. Ooh, it's I don't know. It's the um. I don't know. I'm going back and forth. I, I think, honestly, yeah, if I want to get my honest opinion, I think Canelo already got two judges in the bag, and there's just no <laughs> he way he's gonna lose this fight. I, I, I don't know, Big, because he he beats him with with, with Oscar, so yeah, yeah. I was waiting on somebody but, to talk but, about that. Hey, do you do you think yeah, Kovalev can actually outbox? Do you think Kovalev can actually outbox Canelo and get a decision? No, nah, not at all. He can't win. I think he, oh, okay. I think he could, but I don't think the 
Jaguars hey. will reflect it no matter what happens. Hey, man, I think man, you can win seven rounds. Can we uh, can we uh, talk about that real quick since we're on that subject? Like, why do people keep saying that about Golden Boy? I, I know I'm, I'm guilty of it because I be doing the funniest memes online. I'm a troll. It's That's a, what I do. It's a Golden Boy <laughs> boss, man. It's a right, Golden but, Boy boss, man. But, but think about this, man. When did De La Hoya ever get a, like, coach decision? He did. Exactly, man. Right. Exactly. Huh? It's because people, it. why... people don't like Oscar, man. It's because people don't like no, Oscar. No, 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 no. Because if you, I, if, I if you liked, look at the PVC I, I, I fight. I'll be honest. I never liked Oscar. But I, I, I think Oscar figured out something once he, his fighting was done. He said, shit, let me buy a couple of these motherfuckers and get it. Get it going. Really going. He fi- he's fixing his mistakes with Canelo. <laughs> I tell you what Oscar De La Hoya figured out. It's something that I uh, I know Wilson's heard me credit Conor McGregor with this. It ain't it ain't winning and losing that matters. It's who you fight, and that'll bring the vibes no matter what. Absolutely. It's who Absolutely. you fight. And Oscar De La Hoya knew that. He never backed. He took. He, he fought everybody, and if he promoted, and he like fought he everybody fought, whether they were popular or not. Yeah. He fought the best. Yeah, I have to give De La Hoya that. He fought the best. And I never liked him at all. I never, it, 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 I most never people, liked. I'm about, the, I'm about the fairest. Yeah. Fan in boxing. I'm about the most unbiased guy you'll meet. But I've never been an Oscar fan. I do think he beat Trinidad, and I love Trinidad. You're second. I thought he beat Trinidad. Yeah, I did. Me too. I'm a huge Trinidad fan. He did. He did, and I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he did beat But him. I thought he you know but I mean? you know what? When I saw the way he coasted the last three rounds, I said he's giving he the opening. The loss. He left the opening. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he just lost him more than Zondi Law hey. did against uh, Canelo Alvarez. He lost him more than he wanted. Thing. I totally I agree with that right there. The same so, exact I way. I totally it, agree. The way it happened. Because what they always always know about boxing is the, the 10th, 11th, 12th round, they call them championship rounds. If you don't yeah. fight those rounds, anything can happen. Man. I believe in the anything. championship rounds. Well, that, that's what made that last, that, that's what made the last weekend's fight so uh, last weekend's fight so interesting because uh, outside of I'm talking Taylor Fulgray now, outside of that 117 112 which was ridiculous. Uh, yeah, that was ridiculous. And I scored that fight 114 114. So did I. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, I thought if anybody won, it was Taylor. If anybody won, it had to be. I agree Taylor. with that. I can agree with that. I I agree with that, but I can see. Somebody else telling me, well, I had a 115, 113 full, full grade. You know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah that, that would have been okay. But just you my know, feeling, but, I felt like Taylor won. He seemed to dig in the moment that but, he needed to dig the most. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But to me, to me, right, to me, that 117, 112 ruined, like, the whole night for me. It messed it up bad. It messed it so up like, so bad. But but that keeps happening. That, keeps, that one card changes the whole Millions of people's minds about what happened. You know, that one car always does it. Uh, just no. like uh, Mayweather, uh, De La Hoya. I felt like Floyd won clearly. But it was in competitive yeah. rounds. Most of them were. But yeah. there's no way De La, I thought De La Hoya won. Just like this fight, there's no way I thought Pro Grace won. You know. I thought the, I thought the Canelo, Canelo uh, Mayweather would have been a better comparison. Absolutely. Whoever that, scored that, that. CJ Bird scored it. No, no, that was, that, that was beyond ridiculous because that was a complete one sided That was like the 118 110 card for Golovkin Gil- and Canelo. Yeah, that was just ridiculous. Both of them were ridiculous. Yeah, the no, Floyd, that was the crazy. Floyd, right. Floyd Cotto fight. The judges had it all fucked up. Floyd, Floyd Cotto joint. Cotto, I mean, Cotto fought a better fight than what the judges gave him that night. Yeah, I yeah, yeah they, they were a little wide, but he definitely lost. I, I can feel, I can feel. Yeah, I feel oh, he didn't lose. Floyd didn't lose. He didn't lose at all. Yeah, I'm talking about. No, 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 no. No, Cotto definitely no. lost that fight. Yeah. Yeah, he lost. Yeah. But, but I could have seen. I had an eight four. I I, I gone back. I could have seen I, seven I, five, I, Mayweather. I done seven may five I, too. May I, I ask a question about that Go fight? Ahead. I'm gonna ask a question, and it may be sensitive. You know, a sensitive subject. You know, we don't like you know, corruption and bullshit. But do anybody feel like Floyd could have did worse to Cotto than what he did? Like he he was pulling punches a little bit in Man, the late round. My honest, late round. My, my honest I, opinion is that Cotto was touching Floyd up, and Floyd didn't want to fight. He just wanted to coach, get get the victory. 
He didn't want really? he didn't want to go into that fight with Cotto. Man, it was a bloody he made the fight. biggest dog fight he's ever been in on the inside with Miguel Cotto. Yeah. You know, you I, know think, who I, I think it was. You know who I think it was? I think it was Floyd Mayweather. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I said, you know who has an underrated kid? Floyd Mayweather. Man, I'm going to tell you, really, really, really. Yeah. You never if hear him mention about Francis Chan in the last 20, 30 years. He's got the most underrated kid, maybe, in the history of boxing. Yeah, he's yeah. got the most yeah. underrated kid. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I got six minutes. <laughs> Look, let's get this guy out of here, man. Let's get to the next. <laughs> <laughs> His towel rolls off in about a minute and three seconds. You got to go. <laughs> you got to go. All right, my brother. All right, hey, man, let me know on that. Uh, let, we'll let me know about that tote board, man, whether he, that bet comes up or not. Who do, yeah. you, who do y'all have been a fighter of the year so far this year? Fighter oh, of the year so it. far? I'm yeah. not even thinking about that yet. Oh, Spence <laughs> right now. It's, it's all Spence Jr. Right be now. It's got to be real. And I'm not an old Spence fan. Uh, Wilson is. I'm not. I'm right here with Vic, man. We're we're Terrence. We're Bud Crawford diehards. But uh, yeah. Earl Spence Jr. This ain't the fight of the year year yeah, for him. It's, no, um, not for Bud at all. But it is for Earl Spence Jr. Nah, fight of the year at this moment right now. And to, me, count to, me, not to me, to me, to me, nah, to me, if we beat uh, Tyson, I mean Tyson Fury, if we beat Ooh. Anthony Joshua if again. If he beats Joshua twice, yeah, you got it. You're right. Yeah, That's he might get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, be- yeah, it's between him. He's going away. It's between him. Maybe you could throw Spence in there because he has two big wins. Let me see who like Spence beat. Spence beat Garcia and Porter. Yeah. No, he didn't beat Porter. It could be Naoya anyway. I, you know what? I have to be honest. I ain't giving him enough attention, but I watched this fight. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't really studied him like the rest well, of the guys. Yeah, to me, man, you, you yeah, been seeing me, you been seeing me on Facebook talking about him for like the last three and a half, four years. I, now I paid attention, you know, but I go watch him and I just don't see what everybody sees. So I don't good. know, like in a it's pound for pound sense. That he does is so good that makes the difference. It's just like the I don't know. He man. don't got He's too much. He don't have man. too much head movement. I would love to see Estrada get hold to him. Brother, we start a better run. I want no. Estrada don't run. Are you kidding? He he the Marquez of this generation. <laughs> yes, you're right. Estrada right. right. going to run that. I think he's the most talented fighter coming out of Mexico by far. Man, right I now? love Estrada. Yeah. I like him. Yeah, I love Estrada. Um, he goes Estrada. into every fight with a strategy. But you know? as good as the way he is, I don't even think he's the best fighter in Japan. I think Jose nah, Tanaka man, you is got, better. You got Jose Tanaka right there, too. So He's about, I mean, a lot of people talk about the Lomachenko shit. Uh, Jose Tanaka tied Lomachenko. He's a pretty late champion. You know what I mean? And done it with a, half, with a third of the amateur career. So that's, Yeah, that's the thing about those Japanese fighters. They're so good, but when you look at their amateur, I think uh, Noah anyway had 80 fights, 80 amateur fights. They don't really spend a lot of time in it. Yeah, they don't spend a lot of time in the amateur circuit. You know, it seems Tanaka like now. And uh, Japanese amateur and, to come out a long time, but he turned pro at the age of eighteen. Hey, and, and they're that. producing like yeah, I'm being technically sound now, fighters, so man. Very disciplined fighters. And you know, Tanaka was a world champion. But Tate Davis won his title. But they, but they you fit. know what though? They fight kind of straight in the line though. Most of them, the ones that's good, they just have, usually have pretty good power, but they fight in a line. Well, they don't thing, really. Is, uh, but, most fighters fall straight up, fight straight up and down. Most fighters. Yeah. Fight straight up and down. You're, you're trying to compare them to a guy like Floyd Mayweather. That's not possible. That's a once mm-hmm. in a lifetime style fight. You know what I mean? No, I'm thinking even a guy like Porter. You know what I'm saying? Like Porter Andre, can... Andre Ward comes oh, to mind Ward. When, he, where, when his knee was good. Ward's the most attractive. Yeah, they they, they move yeah. different. It like that's what I don't know. I, that's why I I, I got to see. That's um, why uh, Andre Ward was my favorite fighter because he was a guy that could give it. Uh, that fought so many different styles. When you look at it, he, he could fight, fight any inside. way. That's what I love. That's why that's I'm that's what I love fan. about uh, Dre. Is he literally could fight whatever way it took to win. If it took him smothering the power, that's what he did. If he needed to box you a distance, that's what say, he did. Say what you want. You don't like the low blow, the, low, low. the rough tactics, this boxing. It, anything you could do, get yeah, away this with ain't it, golf, get an edge over it, this, this ain't golf. You want to watch yeah. guys, You want to watch guys shake, shake hands and play nice, you go, you go watch a golf game or something. But uh, this is boxing. So anything, whatever means necessary. Hey, man, yeah, I don't like know. I like the ones that can switch it up. Those are always my favorite. The ones that can switch it up. 
And I prefer him to be a little bit mean, you know. That's what I love about Buzz. That's what me and that's what me and Bo Max was talking about. Is, is yeah. nobody really he understands how much dog he has in him, man. That guy's yeah, uh, it, it, it transcends he, sports he, with him. You know, it's past sports. I can, sports when he, I can know, remember the first time I ever saw Buzz. Sports. He was just a little. He was like 15 years old, and he was a mean little shit then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He consistent. This ain't no act. No, it's just his. This is him. This is him. Yeah, yeah. It's no act. Nice, Uh, nice, nice. (laughs) All right. This show is brought to you by the GruelingTruth.com, Anchor.fm, Everlast.com, and Cameron Sports Management. All right. Uh, We're getting into the last few minutes. I'm going to break this fight down stylistically and what both fighters should do. All right. Sokai Kovalev, he can win this fight. All right. I'm not going to be one of these people that say, oh, it's already bought and paid for. It's not like He can win this fight, but it's going to have to be off the one strategically. When I say strategically, I'm not just talking about a jab in the chin. I'm talking about one in the chest. I'm talking about wherever he can do that chest don't move. Watch watch the John Pascal fight. He does it a lot in that fight. All right? He controls Pascal's distance with the jab to the chest. If he'll do that here, he has a lot better chance of winning this fight. From talking to Buddy McGurk earlier in the week, he knows how important a wider stance is here for Kovalev. He needs a little wider stance and a little more snap behind that jab. We used to have a video up of Oscar De La Hoya throwing the jab. Most underrated jabber I've ever seen in my life. All right? When he threw a jab, it had pop behind it a lot of times. All right? Now, yeah, that's what Kovalev is going to have to do, and it can't be at the head because Alvarez has got some of the best head movement in the game. All right? But you got to look at Alvarez is going to be low. He's going to be, be low. Let's hit him anyway. in the chest. Let's hit him in the neck. I don't care. Just hit yeah. him. Just hit him. Yeah. I don't care if you hit him. Where are you hitting? Just hit him. Keep him backing up. Keep him resetting, and you can win this fight. All right? The he two is going to be crucial, but it's going to have to be a two that he leads with. Not one behind it. Not one behind it. You ever see Gennady Golovkin land a two and eat 24 rounds against him to come behind the jab? No, you didn't. Yeah. You know why? See, this because the, thing, the most common that they trained for. I always the one thought Kovalev was the best from the East Block. I always thought he was the best boxer from the East Block. He is until uh, Lomachenko come along. Yeah, you're right. As far yeah. as him and Golovkin, yeah. Uh, yeah. I thought he was he, the best pure straight-up now boxer, fundamentals. Yeah, yeah, right. fundamentally sound. Sometimes he overreached, but that's okay. That happens. But that's his only for, for the most part. success. <clears throat> because, and if you're Canelo Alvarez, you have to commit to the three to the body, the four to the body, the hooks to the body. You have to commit. Yeah. Even if it takes taking a jab to the shoulder, taking one to the neck, whatever you got to do, even if it takes a knockdown. And I do believe Canelo Alvarez touches the canvas for the first time in his career this weekend. All right? If he touches the canvas, believe. he loses. Kovalev is a good finisher. If he touched the camera, Kovalev is a good finisher. Kovalev finishes. I think it's more like the flash knockdown you've seen Andre Ward suffer because uh, that's one that Kovalev led with the two. A one-two combination is hard to land on any elite boxer. Anybody that spent their whole life doing this. I mean, hell, it's hard to land on me, and I ain't done it in a long time because it's the most (laughs) trained in boxing. You know what I mean? So... A lead to, just out of nowhere, uh, will be the key for Kovalev to, main, to, to be able to catch him with anything solid. Uh, I think Alvarez may get caught off balance, something like that, trying to come in. Much like the Lomachenko shot against Lenares, where he just charged too soon. You see what I'm saying? Um, yeah. I think that's what you get here. I, you you think possible. it's going to be a flash? I think if he knocks think, Canelo down, it's going to be a hard one. You think so? If he does, it's it could be. be. But I do believe that you see Canelo Alvarez touch the canvas here, possibly. I, um, I do. I agree with that. I do believe you see Canelo Alvarez touch. And then it makes them rethink. It makes them regroup. And let's get our ass back to 160 and defend these titles, because I don't think anybody at 160 beats them. Okay? Uh, other but than I possibly think Canelo less do a lot or, against, uh, anybody. Huh? I think he would do a lot better against Better Bayev. I don't. I don't see what with Better Bayev what the big deal is. I don't see. Yeah, it. me neither. But we'll get into that whenever I go and I and I talk about how Bibble yeah. boxes his ears shut. 
<laughs> Look, they talking like Canelo is taking a, the uh, green walking the green mile fighting better by <laughs> right about now. I'm like, what? I'm looking at him. I'm like, I don't see it. Yeah, Canelo just, gets off, he gets off first against a guy like better be all all night long. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I with, think he can. And the reach, he don't down. have no significant reach disadvantage here either. So I mean, he could box this guy. Yeah. Whereas sure. I don't think he can really so, box Kovalev like people are thinking he can here. So he's going to have to get in and okay. commit. He got to fight he's Kovalev. Gonna, he gotta he's got to fight. fight him. He's got to fight him in a Absolutely. phone booth, just like you did when you you put both two front feet in the tire and mm-hmm. go. Who you, who you uh, that's what's going to happen here. And I predict Canelo Alvarez stops Sergey Kovalev between the 10th and the 12th round of this fight. I'm With going Canelo pays, by decision. He pay, pays the I'm going I, I, I believe that I believe that my my personal opinion is it's going to be a tough fight early on. It's going to become exactly. easier as the fight goes on. And I believe, and I predicted it uh, somewhere else. I already called. I never predict fights. So I usually try to stay neutral. But since I don't got the right shit, I'm going to do it in, now. So I got Canelo winning by uh, TKO around the 10th round. That's exactly round. what I think. And, think and, and it's McGurk. not because Kovalev gets hurt. It, it'll just be like Kovalev runs out of gas. I think he don't have the gas to make the finish. I, that's exactly what I believe. Uh, there's so many years, like 36 years old, and yes, this 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 rumor oh, about him okay. drinking is it 100% true, guys? I've seen it. Okay, yeah, it's 100% true. There's other guys can testify to it. Kelly Pan, gang, we've all seen it. You know what I mean? He's he's a prick. Right. All right? I mean, From the I, word mean I mean, I, I mean, that. here's the here's the thing though. Like, His yeah, biggest I, I fight understand. Is I can understand that. Right, I can understand that, but. If you're going to stop doing some of that shit, this is the chance to do it. Because if you could somehow win this fight, man, you got some money fights down the road. Yeah. Really? I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, because now, in my opinion, he's going to demand some attention again. Is that correct? Yeah. It's with ESPN. If he wins, he gets to go straight back to ESPN. But if he loses, he has to go Yeah, if he loses, he has has two more fights with the zone. Two more fights with the zone. Yeah. Well, is Bob Aaron that confident? That's what I'm saying. Mm. I mean, uh, well, well, Bob, hurt, Bob, know, Aaron, Bob Aaron not. feels like Bob Aaron maybe feels like the same way I do. Like the end is closer than the beginning, so let him get his money. Oh, there's no doubt Bob Aaron will sell you down the river. Okay. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he, you know, he was, no he was a, my, my, my thing is that I actually reached out to him this week earlier this week. So my, my, I, my, my thing I is, is this can give him a little more money, man. A little, I'm not saying he's going to make 10 to $12 million again, but I'm talking about, like, instead of making what he was making before, he, you might up that a million this, or two. This is to make him the A-side against Better BF, Bivol. Uh, right. Bivol fight's got to come next, right? If, I mean, if, or no, he doesn't. He, I hope I mean, he if, 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 he, if he loses, then you could pretty much maybe see that. I don't know. I don't know how much interest that will be. I, you guys got it. I understand I, it's Canelo I, Alvarez, right? That takes us into another Canelo question Alvarez. here that I've got wait, wait, from, I understand uh, Let me make a quick point, though, real quick. I understand yeah. it's Canelo Alvarez, but uh, at what point do you think people are going to want to see a, one, a guy at 175 that lost to a, a middleweight? Oh, you're right. You're absolutely correct. But, I mean, you got to think he's ca- he cashing out, though, you know. So yeah, gonna... I know. I I know he's cashing out, but so, I'm just talking about from the public interest. If he loses this uh, fight, yeah, 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 no, nah, he got to win. He got to win. Think if you're you wanna, you're uh, down to like uh, forty something seconds here, buddy. But uh, hey, fellas, I enjoyed it, man. I'm gonna take my ass to sleep, man. Hey, I really hey, appreciate it, man. No doubt, man. Take Talk care, fellas. All right, we're back. Don't forget right. the show is brought to you by thegruelingtruth.com, anchor.fm, Cameron Management Team, and Everlast, your provider of all yeah. boxing products. We're, we're going to let – when you guys call in, we'll let you, you know, hang around a little while. Eventually, we'll probably cut you, like, you know, like, like sports talk – not even, like sports talk radio, you know, maybe a dialogue, get two, you. three minutes, and then go Yeah, get your on. question in, get an answer. Yeah, fair enough. Absolutely. Because I – uh, yeah, because mo- I know most weeks Chris is not going to forget to write the question post. So, <laughs> man, I've got a fear of like 101.4 right now. 
Uh, I feel um, you, man. I'm it, not, it I, made I, me I, feel I, a lot better, believe it or not. <laughs> I've been I've been dealing with a cold all week, but you know yeah. I had to come I don't home. Know what I had to, to come you. home. I had to come home and go trick or treating. So I had uh, well, I didn't have trick or treat. I'm I'm, I'm grown out of that. My kids are grown out of that. Guys, we're down to eight minutes and fifty something seconds. If you want to call in. And get your questions answered. That's 516 531 9594. There's over 9,000 people still listening. Give us a call. Uh, I, right. I could still, yeah, I could still see uh, Canelo losing this fight, but I, I just see him, you know, I, I, he has more ways to win it, in my opinion. And Kobe, yeah, I, Kobe I agree. Has I totally... to actually, has to actually, in a, in a sense, in a way, fight a perfect fight, too. Because he can't really make too many mistakes because you're in there with a guy that will make you pay. I don't think he's going to hurt him, but he's going to make him pay. And eventually, that adds up. He has to, in my opinion, be aggressive early on and and try to see if he could get, like, hey, let me see if he could take my punch. And, and he has to try to go, go for it, man. Yeah. I totally agree. Oh, man. Such an intriguing yeah. fight. I, I it's a very intriguing fight. Uh, my prediction is mainly based off of a lot of what Tim Bradley said. Uh, said the same thing I did, and that's that it's the right fight at the right time. It's just enough risk, and it's also a, you know. Yeah, he's it's, cashing it's, out. He's cashing out. Uh, a lot of things, I think he's catching this guy at the right time. Do I think he beats the Sergey Kovalev that was in the ring with Bernard Hopkins? Absolutely not. Do I think he beats the Sergey Kovalev that fought Andre Ward the first time? Absolutely not. You know what I mean? But I do think he, he beat Sergey Kovalev. He might not be. He might not be the second on uh, the award fight, uh, Sergey Kovalev. So it's uh, it's a, it's going to be a, a a doozy, man. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's going to be a great fight. There's somewhere in there. Do I know? Did you had a question before? Uh yeah. It's from Antonio. He's asking. Antonio's from Wisconsin. That's what it says on the thing here on the tote board. He adds a question and he says, um, "Who, which fighter can afford to lose this fight the most?" Canelo Alvarez um, cannot yeah, yeah. really. Uh, I don't think he loses much by losing this fight. Um, at the end of the day, honestly, do you or do you? Kovalev definitely don't lose anything by losing this fight. He's expected to. But did, could Kovalev, could Alvarez regroup and come back? Do you think we could see a part two in May? Right. Well, I don't think I don't see him. I I, I don't really see a, a downside to either guy losing. I, I the A. You could just look at it this way: Canelo loses, he's still the middleweight champion of the world. And yeah, absolutely. Uh, and, and he went up to weight classes. He already has a loss on his record. Um, Kovalev, uh, if he loses, he's on his way out the door. You know, he'll probably obviously come back and take those two fights. So if he could get some money, why not? Um, but uh, I don't think this is one of those moments where, like, oh, wow, if he loses. The only thing Canelo loses here is maybe um, – a few spots on the pound for pound list. Hey man, I think he falls off a lot of people's list if he loses. Uh, although he wouldn't mind, um, he would still be top, probably seven or eight on mine, easy. Uh, probably, but what he will he'll, do he'll, is secure he'll, the spot. He'll go towards the bottom of mine, you know. Yeah. So. And on my official list, as I said earlier, he is the number one pound for pound fighter in the world, and it all has to do with Ray LeMay. It's a good yeah. fight. You guys should. If you don't have the zone, tune in. Uh, oh hell, go to the mm-hmm. um, go to Facebook and go to East Week Boxing Group. Some guy in there. Always make sure you uh, people have access to fights. So. Guys, our show has now been dropped back to like fifty six and a half minutes because of the ads and stuff that has to go in it for the anchor spot. If I, I know this is kind of like a last minute notification, but it's the way it is. Uh, it's the only way I can keep it at one hour. <laughs> to be able to transfer it over. But 56 and a half minutes, still plenty of talk. Um, I just thought about that until I was looking at the time up here. Uh, All right. So, that ain't right. Uh, we got about a minute left. Uh, what do you want to do? Saturday night. Saturday night. We've got to do the uh, – got to go in the shadows of Canelo Alvarez and Sergey Kovalev. We'll see you Saturday night after the fight. We'll be on live here. Um uh, 
listen, at the end of the day, thank you for listening. You love the sport. We love the sport. It doesn't matter what entity, root for the sport. Whether it's top rank, PBC, Golden Boy, just root for the sport, guys. That's the most important Amen. thing. We need we could put boxing back on the map. All right? So with with that being said, enjoy your Halloween. Happy Halloween. May may you I'll see you guys Saturday and we are out. We're out, guys. Are you ready?